This video provides a quick introduction to using the PDC's Open Data System. The system is intended for advanced users who want to download or analyze raw data or develop computer programs that use PDC data. The system provides a powerful set of tools and requires some time to learn how to use it. This video will provide some of the basics and information on how you can learn more. We're going to start by going to the PDC website, browse, see all, and click on Open Data. This is the main data catalog page. The page lists the data sets that are available. For each, there is a link to access the data set, a date that shows when the data set was last updated, and a link to access the metadata. Going to the metadata, you can see the complete description of the data, along with a detailed description of each column. Back near the top of the page, again we have the date that the data set was last updated and a link to the actual data. So let's click and go to the actual data now. First, let's do a bit of simple filtering. The data set we're looking at is all contributions for the last 10 years. With 3.2 million records, it's quite a bit. So let's filter it down and look at just the legislative district races for 2016. Just click Filter, add a new filter condition. I'm going to select Election Year, enter 2016, and pressing the Tab key applies the filter. Now I'm going to say Add a new filter condition again. Select Jurisdiction Type, Legislative, and again, pressing Tab applies the filter. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another filter condition to look at just the Senate races. And we can do that by going down and selecting Jurisdiction. And then instead of Is, we can, con we can use Contains type Senate. Again, clicking tab applies the filter. Now we have all of the Senate races for 2016, and this is candidate contributions. This is still a lot of data. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a sort, and we're going to roll up the data to do some calculations. So I'm going to click sort and roll up, roll ups and drill downs, now I want to group by jurisdiction so that I can sum the amounts for each jurisdiction. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the total contributions per Senate race by party. And so we'll roll up by jurisdiction, add a grouping column, select party, and now we say what we want to roll up on or where we want to do the function. So we want to look at the amount of the contributions, and we want to say sum. So we are going to sum all contributions by jurisdiction and party. We'll say sort, and we can also sort these by jurisdiction. And finally say apply. And there we go. We can change the width of our columns so we can read them a little bit easier. And we can see for each one of the legislative races for Senate, the amount that was spent broken down by party. And we have 43 rows. You can easily export data from the portal by just clicking Export. In this case, let's say we want to open it with Microsoft Excel. Click CSV for Excel. It'll ask what we want to do with the file. And we can just say open or save, and I'll just say save. This is all great, but the real power of the portal is being able to save, share, and export your results in many different formats. A lot of this power is gained by creating an account for the portal. If you don't already have an account, you can click the sign in link and then follow the steps to create an account. But I'm going to sign in. Let's call this. 
legislative races. We'll say save, and it's actually going to ask me to sign in. Now that I'm signed in, I can click on my name in the upper right, view profile, and I'll get a list of data sets or views on data sets that I've saved. And here's the legislative races that we just created. Every time that I sign in, I can see my results, but because this was based on a data set, each time the PDC updates the data, your data set will update to reflect those changes. The next thing we're going to do is create a chart to display the results of what we just created. So I'm going to click Visualize. I'm going to select a stacked bar chart. I'm going to select Jurisdiction is the label, and I'm going to select Amount as the values. Next I'm going to go to Advanced Data Selection, and I'm going to say that I want to group by party, and this will show both parties, or all the parties, in the same row. We can even customize the colors. Let's say we want to just change all of these to be red. And there we go. We have our completed chart and also the data that goes with it. We can also save this chart. And there we are. The Open Data Platform is provided by a third party, Socrata. You can learn a lot more about what you can do in the Open Data Portal on the Socrata website. There's a convenient link at the bottom of the page. Going to the Socrata website, if you look under Community and Socrata Support, and then finally Open Data, you'll find numerous links to more information that you can explore. There's also a wealth of information available by searching the web for Socrata and the topic that you're interested in. Thank you for watching.